what's up guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you how to fix enable to launch game please try reinstalling the game so let's get started solution number one if you are running your game in rockstar games launcher go to search bar on your windows tap here services go to system services scroll down and go to program compatibility assistance service right click on it and go to properties and go to startup type automatic hit on apply and log on check this option apply general and restart your program compatibility start it again and OK and try again. If you're still facing the issue, then scroll down. Go to Rockstar Games Launcher Services. Here you can see Rockstar Game Library Service. Right click on it. Properties. Startup type. Automatic. Hit on Apply. Log on. Check this option. Apply. General and Start. And OK and open your rockstar games launcher and try again solution number two go to your game folder if you have gdo5 or gdo5 enhanced or rdi2 go to your game folder game directory so for example this is my game gdo5 go to your launcher for gdo5 play gdo5 right click on it and go to properties and compatibility and uncheck this option here and check this option and check this option okay hit on apply and okay now go to rdr2 another game go to your launcher so this is my launcher properties compatibility uncheck this option check this option and hit on apply okay go to another launcher for the game this one and compatibility uncheck this option check this option and apply ok now close it rockstar games launcher compatibility uncheck this option check this option and apply and ok and try again solution number three if you're still facing the issue then you need to reinstall your rockstar games launcher but go to search bar on your windows tap here settings go to settings go to apps and tap here rockstar games launch and uninstall rockstar games launcher and sdk uninstall So go to search bar on Windows, type your task manager. Go to task manager. And close your launcher. And task. And scroll down again here. Right click and end task. Scroll down again. And OK. Close it. And try again and check this option here and continue now go to search bar again on Windows tap here register it go to registry editor right click on it run as administrator and go to HK local machine go to software Scroll down and go to WOW6432 note. Click here. Scroll down. And search for Roblox folder. So delete all folders for Roblox. Right click. Hit delete. Roblox Corporation. I have another folder. Rockstar Games. Right click and hit delete. Close it. 
and go to startup and restart your PC now. Now you need a new launcher. Now install your Rockstar Games launcher, right click and run as administrator. Solution number four. If you have Epic Games launcher for the game, go to this PC and go to documents and go to Rockstar Games, right click on it and go rename it. We have to rename this folder. Rockstar Games 1Q3. Hit enter on your keyboard and close it. Solution number five. If you are on Epic Games Launcher and go to search bar on Windows, type here Task Manager. Go to Task Manager and scroll down. And go to Epic Games Launcher right click and end task and scroll down and if epic games service is running in the background here then you need to end task close all services running apps for epic games launch if you're still facing the issue then go to search bar on windows type here run press enter type here local app data percentage percentage click ok and go to epic games and go to saved and delete this folder now open your game in your epic games launcher if you're still facing the issue then i have another solution go to your game folder and go to your game face folder and open banneries folder and go to win64 folder and you have to open this application file for the game if you have GTA 3 or GTA 4 or GTA 5 or another game or another game then you have to open your game with this application file If you're still facing the issue, then go to search bar on your Windows, type your settings again. Go to system settings, update in security, Windows security, virus and threat protection, manage settings, and turn it off. For more settings and solutions, go to control panel. Go to category, uninstall a program, and uninstall Microsoft OneDrive. I hope this tutorial helps you and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.